Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be doing another episode of checking out one of your guys' solar systems. So I think today is episode 170 of this series now, so we're only 30 away from the uh, big 200 now, so that's uh, pretty insane stuff. But without further ado, let's get into today's system. So today's one is from Mad Planet Guy and this one is a 135 stable star system. So this is just, this is just ridiculous. So let's see what he is uh made for us here so let's uh, open it up to so, yeah, 135 stars in a stable system so i'm guessing we're going to be seeing a lot of barry centers and some massive distances between all these and hopefully we'll be able to run the simulation as well and just see how it all moves so let's just go ahead and see uh where are we so 135 stable okay let's get in right into the action right come on game you know you want to load it oh my god the music in the game has stopped it actually stopped there for a brief moment okay so sub to my planet guy yep um that's a lot of spam <laughs> so 135 star stables so oh my god i can really feel the lag uh what we'll do lag generator oh my gosh right so what's this all about lag generator is it, is it just a planet or is there anything weird about it it's just called lag generator i mean i mean it won't even let let me open it <laughs> oh my god yeah, okay, so that is very strange. Oh my god, right. So this is 135 stars. So, I mean, it may be quite hard to navigate this with how laggy it is. I mean, I, look at this. Look how far it goes. I mean, I don't think we need to view every star. I mean, let's be honest. <laughs> I mean, that is just... It's like a galaxy. Look at this. It's still going. How far does this go? <laughs> 130 we're only halfway at 70 so oh my god look at this how long did this take I, look at this oh my god we won't even be able to get the whole system in shot because it's just so large i, I mean how far is star 135 from the rest of look how far away 135 is so it's a red dwarf okay so we're just going to explore so Oh my god. Look at the... So, sub to Mad Planet, guys, to start in the middle. So, that is um, quite a large distance. At Milky, We're in Milky Ways here, so... That is enormous. So, let's try and add an object into the inner... So, oh my god, this is huge. So, it's so large, it's more... It's just putting... Yeah. Look, I mean, look at the grid. 1.92e plus 51 Milky Way. So it's just so large that the game can't even calculate the exact number uh, of distances this is. And look, I'm trying to add an object. Look how laggy this is. This this system is just a lag machine. Obviously, if you want to check it out for yourself, it's in my Discord server. But yeah, this is insane. I mean, I'm not sure if we'll be able to actually enjoy it as much as we want because it's just, it's just so laggy. I mean, this is... <laughs> look at that. Look how long that took. So we can see... Yeah, look, look at the distance this star is from everything else. I mean, that is just mental. Look at that. Let's actually throw a galaxy. Let's just compare a galaxy. So Milky Way. Look, you can't even see the Milky Way. It's that small. Uh, IC 101. Even the largest flipping galaxy. <laughs> you can't see it. I mean, what, how far do we have to zoom in for it to show up? I mean, or is it just that broken? The galaxy doesn't even spawn? I'm, uh, <laughs> oh my god. Wow. Uh, yeah, I think it's probably best we don't spawn that because it will probably just crash the game with how laggy it is. So, I kind of want to line them all up. But let's actually just have a look at what we've got in here. So, is there any unique planets for us to visit or are they literally all stars? Because I think there was planets. I mean, this, uh, yeah. So, it looks like they're most stars. So, that lag generator is weird. So, let's see if there's any interesting planets for us to check out. But it depends if this actually loads. And, and one thing we'll do as well, which I think is probably a good idea, is I think we'll have to turn our settings down to the lowest because this is just this is insane uh go on low because usually i run on like max stuff okay so there we go so it looks like low settings is going to give us a hand here so let's uh, see what we've got in here so i guess we'll actually we could probably lower the render i mean it will make it look a little more pixely but i mean it may be worth it to do it so so these are all stars so the the center stars the blue stars okay so it looks like everything else apart from that random lag generator planet oh there's one planet so we have lag generator, which we store, and then there's one planet in here out of all of these. So I, d I really want to try and run this simulation, but okay, so here's the planet. So this is somewhere in the middle of nowhere. So this is around star number 14. 
So where, where exactly is the galactic? I'd say the galactic center because this thing is in theory just a massive galaxy just with a limited amount of stuff. Okay, ah, okay, right. So this is the center of everything. So they're the sub to my planet guy um, objects. So look at all these barrier centers, all of this center of gravity stuff. So okay, so there's IC one hundred one compared. So if we were to place that there, okay, so that's the largest galaxy, right there. Okay. So you can see largest galaxy, and then if you compare this, so obviously all the way, it starts all the way down here in the center with the blue stars. You zoom all the way out. Oh my god! So there's all the stars. So in theory, look at the, the the diameter of this binary system. It goes all the way out to 130. I mean, look, that's IC 101, the largest galaxy, and we're still going. Look at this. <laughs> oh my god! That's insane, and it's still going. I mean, he's done some, uh, my planet guy's done some binary systems before. Or I say binary, like a massive star stable system, but he's never done one this large. This is insane. I mean, look at how long are the orbits going to take of these stars. I mean, it takes, I mean, I see 101. I mean, it takes, let's compare it to the Milky Way. So it takes a sun, a galactic year, to go around the, the Milky Way. And that's relatively around a billion ish, like billions, billions of years, roughly. But. IC101 is kind of a little bigger than Milky Way. So imagine how long it would take a star to go around IC101. So that would be multiple galactic years, roughly. Depends on how far you are from the galactic centre. But this system, star 135, is multiple Milky Ways, like just ridiculous amounts of distance. That's going to take it an eternity to go around. I mean, that is that is absolutely insane. It's just, uh, probably best to be delete the galaxy, get rid of it. So look at all the Barry centers. Look at all this. So these are all centers. This is just play. Oh my god. It actually works. <laughs> oh, oh no, no, no. It's broken. It broke. Oh no. I don't know if it. Oh. 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 We've definitely broken it. I mean, maybe, it, maybe it's unstable then. I, I don't know. I think we've broken the stable part. I mean, maybe we ran it too fast. Let's run it. Let's open it again and try and run it. I want to. I want to see if this actually does run. Oh my god. Well, I wouldn't describe this as a solar system, to say. That lag generator. I think I can spot what was causing lag. When you zoom out, the planet changes appearance. So that must be something to do with the lag generation. As soon as I zoom out, you can see this orange stuff starts to appear on it. So what's that all about? That looks, that looks pretty interesting. So can we try and zoom it? Maybe if I zoom out of it from... Unless it won't let us open the menu, will it? Okay. So that is that's a strange object. So back to the center, though. So I'm going to run it on the time it's already been set. So we can see it's been run for 10 years. So we can see the two blue stars seem to have so play. Okay, so we're running it at the time it was set. So does this actually work? Because you know, obviously, if you run it at just ridiculous speeds, the accuracy of the simulation would be just too much for it to handle. But it looks like at this speed... In theory, it works. Like, it is working. You can see the orbits are fine. I'm not even going to bother using orbit mode because that is just going to be chaos. So, yeah, it looks like it does work then. But obviously, when you speed it up more and more, this is where the two stars in the middle will just get ridiculously weird. Look, you can see it's struggling to probably load them in. So, there you are. But you can see even all the way out here, these stars are barely moving. So, how the heck is star 135 ever going to complete an orbit? I mean, I don't think it's, in theory, it's going to be possible for that star to complete an orbit on my computer anyway. But even a really good computer, like a gaming PC, would that actually be able to run a whole orbit of that star? Because that is just a ridiculous distance. Because remember, it's got to run all other, all the other 134 stars, uh, each with their own physics and characteristics. So, yeah, <laughs> this is insane. But obviously, if you guys want to experiment and play around with this, be my guest. It's in the Discord server and the simulation uploads for videos. Make sure to check this out if you want to have a play. But yeah, this is just insane. But also, if I speed it up more, you can see the inner part, I'm guessing, breaks. More, maybe not. It looks like it's handling it a little better this time around. So, maybe it's because I placed the IC galaxy and maybe that missed out. But you can see it's, it's working. It, it is working. So, you can see we're getting all the lag generator is moving. That doesn't look good. Why is star number 19 not moving? Or maybe it is. It's just so far away. Yeah, right. So you can see that lag generator probably just got shot out at the speed of light. Oh, we can actually view it now. Ooh, okay. We found a way around it. So that's what it looks like. That's a close-up. So I don't know what's going on with that, but that is a weird object. So we can see... The sp look at the speed. Oh, it's constantly changing as well. So you can see, look at the speed. So it's going to about 0.01% the speed of light. 
So nothing crazy fast. I mean, that's still rocketed out here really quickly. So interesting stuff. I wonder how long that will take to actually launch out of like the entire... Like how, how long will it take this thing to go past the 135th star? Because we're running at maximum speed now. We can't go any faster than this. So we can see the inner stuff is all just going like crazy speeds. But as soon as we zoom out to roughly star... I'd say star... 13, 14 onwards. It looks like they're barely moving from star 14. And we still have 135 stars, or, or yeah, over 100 stars after that. So these stars are, are never going to move. Like, no matter how fast or long I run this, these stars are going to take literally forever to move, let alone go around the whole orbit. I mean, that is just... That is insane. Look, I'm still rolling. You can hear my mouse scroll, Will. Look at this. Still going. <laughs> Look at this. This is just crazy. This is absolutely bonkers. Like... How long did this take? Please let me know, Matt Planet Guy. That is just... Oh, my God. I mean, how do you know it's all stable if these stars will literally never move? <laughs> like, oh, my God. Look at that. That is just beyond insane. I mean, oh, my God. There's no Barry Center, so I'm guessing all these stars just orbit normally. Jeez, that is just... Oh, my God. So, there you go. And that's only star... Yeah. So, we keep going. 100, 135. So, that's the furthest star... Let's put the Observable Universe star in here. I want to see. Just I reckon. I don't. I think the Observable Universe will, will be too small. Honestly, I think this distance is just stupidly big. That you could probably put the Observable Universe star in here. Let's see. Uh, where, where is it? I don't even know where it is. Uh, Observable Universe. Where, where are we? I should have it somewhere. Where, where is it? I never deleted it. So, um, where is it? I don't even know where my own objects are. Okay, there you go. Observable Universe. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. So it's the distance here is just stupidly big. The, the Observable Universe object just doesn't even compare. So there, there you go. So the Observable Universe object roughly... Okay, so let's see how far out this thing actually goes. So still scrolling. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Right. Uh, pause. Uh, still object. Okay, so there's the two... Okay, there's the battery centers. Okay. So Observable Universe. Okay, so Observable Universe goes out to roughly star 58. That's the observable universe. Look how much further it goes than that. <laughs> that is insane. Uh, let's, um... If I turn off the glows... Okay, there you go. So there's the observable universe. Still going, still going. Yeah, and it's gone. Like, that is... That is beyond mental. So, there, there we go, guys. That is just a uh, brief view into the stable 135 star system from Mad Planet, guys. And let me know... What do you think of that? That is just... <laughs> that is insane. Let's uh, delete this quick. Uh, the observable universe, if I can even click it. Oh, God. There we go. Delete. <laughs> Line them all up, boys. Look at this. Oh, my God. Look how long it takes to get them all in here. They're still coming. That's... Look how long it takes. They're still coming from the... They're so far away. Even chart mode takes time for them to actually arrive. Look at that. <laughs> oh, my God. Look, it's pulling in all the stars from the super far distances. Look, I'm trying to get them all in chart mode. It's still loading them all in. Look, oh my God. Jeez, that is crazy. So even in chart mode, we can't actually line all the objects up because they're so far away. The chart mode has to move them all to the center. So look at this. This is just ridiculous. See all the stars just loading up. I mean, look at that. Look how cool that is. That is awesome. So just all the stars lining. So you can see they're all filling up the positions. So the positions are already filled for all of the stars. So you can see all the gaps are all the stars that haven't arrived yet. But yeah, there you go, guys. So that does it for the 135 stable star system. So let me know what you guys thought of that down below in the comments. And yeah, so if you want to have a go, join my Discord server and you can find it in there if you want to have a play. But yeah, there you go. So that is the 135 stable star system. So... Yeah, really hope you enjoyed. Massive thank you to Mad Planet Guy. Please let me know how long this took you to make, because this is absolutely insane. And yeah, guys, make sure to subscribe if you're new. And yeah, I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.